Hey guys, I'm Giant Age Occasion, and today we're carrying on with a Rogue Trader campaign. Is it a campaign? See, the, the playthrough thing, let's play. We're here. Anyway, we're playing Rogue Trader. Uh, it's still alpha, of course. It will be for months. <laughs> like months and months and months, so I don't really need to remind you of that. But uh, obviously, if you do see any uh, weird, janky things, uh, that'll be why. Though, I've got to say, things have been running pretty well so far. So we're on Armored Anver. There's some Anver thugs. And the specialist we'll have to watch out for, Lanny Gogolai. Oh, interesting. There's a character. Interesting. I wonder if there was a chance to actually encounter them earlier. Or if uh, once we fight everyone, we'll have to talk to them. You know, maybe they'll only be downed. God, I love these like little buildings that just sort of sit in this area. Just It's almost like a little cottage, a little gothic cottage. It's just so weird. I just love the architecture and everything in 40k. Because, like, this could be completely at home. Well, not completely at home. Mostly at home with, like, Warhammer Fantasy. You know? Just the materials are a bit different, and, you know, some of the emblems are obviously a little different, but it's just, like, so mundane. And then, you know, it's got, like, plasma vents and things plugged into it. It's just, it's just really cool. They've done a great job with the design here. Also really cool to see lion statues and things. It's just, yeah, cool vibes. Uh, sorry, I'm here to play the game. Let's do the game. Let's do the game. I'm oh, sorry, I'm here to experience the game. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admire the pretty stuff. So, uh, this guy can charge. Oh my god, did we ever give him those bloody boots? Never gave him these boots. Can I put boots on now? No, of course not. Of course not. I never gave him the boots. Typical. Alright, let's, uh, I mean, I'll go here and then dash, I suppose? That's just a thug. Who's worth actually fighting? I think it might be worth going over here. Hopefully I can dash. I'm really not sure I'll be able to, though. Uh, Fossil Strike, Endure... There's my charge. Okay, good. Oh, I can't attack anyone else now. Oh, actually, yeah, I can. I can use the Swing of Magoo. Nice. And then I will use Endure. So until the fight is next turn, all incoming attacks deal less damage. As if my deflection were higher. Uh, so tough, half of toughness bonus. Bonus. So we'll see if we can withstand all the attacks from all these guys. Yeah, that's kind of... Um, that's the plan. So Lanny Goggle-Eyed. What's he going to do? He's going to shoot me. <laughs> is it because you got shot in the ears? Is that what happened? Alright, so, um, we have lightning, of course, we can lightning, uh, so I think what it might be worth, oh, we can't really get anywhere over here, yeah, she can't really get to cover very well, can she? I'll have to use a move on her that lets her do a second move, I think, at some point, you know? Or I could go for these guys, instead. Is that going to let me... Okay, I might be able to hit them from there. It really is dependent on the range. These guys will be able to flank me, but hopefully, because they're all in a really quite convenient line, I'll hopefully be able to get... Uh, God, what's her name? Argenta. Uh, over here, and she can just shoot with her like rapid fire straight down there and hopefully kill a couple. So let's do that. that? Alright, that's two dead. God, that's satisfying. It really is. And that's her done. And, oh, interesting. The town guards are fighting, too. At least one of them is. No damage from that. Amazing. Okay, Cassia. Um, we can stun a bunch of people. We could actually have him move, 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 so we could move him into cover. That's not a bad idea, actually. Except he's far too far away for us to be able to do that. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> be that way. Uh, I could bring it down. I could give one of these guys... I give, like, Argenta more AP. Uh, so she could take a shot over here. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. And then we'll see if we can kill him. And it looks like we can. Excellent. Uh, and this one... Second wind. Immediately gain an action point. And dash. And it is free. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, then we're going to dash. Over to here. Just gets us a little bit further along. For free, as well, so we might as well. 
Uh, now we need to move over here, I guess. Oh yeah, she can see him from up there, so I could take some shots. Um, and I'll be in pretty good cover up here as well. So I will try. I will try. Because that's, okay, that's a heavy thug, so maybe we can weaken them. Wow, Righteous Fury. So Righteous Fury, I'm pretty sure, is, is just a critical hit. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Uh, move, move, move. I immediately give someone some more movement. I should have done that sooner. My bad. Voice of Command. Leader forces and allies to make every effort increase their characteristics. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could make our rogue trader better. Buff their stats. Okay. Next up, we have a tech priest. Techie P. Let's, um... Let me just come over here so I can start taking some shots. Uh, or, of course, I do have some buffs that I can do. I could target weaknesses. Study defenses. Is it machine spirit communication that buffs our allies? Um... Yeah, I can use it on enemies as well, actually. How many turns does it last? Oh, hang on, no, this one. Um, for one plus intelligence bonus turns. So, basically for a battle, I think. Oh, that's a bit sad. Oh, well, I can't hit... Oh, no, I can have Pascal benefit from that, too. Okay. Uh, I'm going to opt into Pascal not getting that, so the rest of the teammates can. Yeah, I can have them be nice. Nice to our boys. Uh, so now, I can use a Plasma Overcharge. Ah, <laughs> nice. Let's do it. Very nice. Perfect. Okay, moving on. They are running out of thugs. Have you guys noticed that? They're running out of thugs. I mean, you might say, oh, there's still quite a few back here. Yeah, but there's quite a few dead ones over here. So, you know. Uh, ooh, the guard is there. Can I shoot from up here? I mean, yeah, of course. I was hoping to line up a little better. Oh my god, why did I click that? I didn't mean to click military excellence. It was shot on the run I wanted to do. Crap. Well, I'll do that too, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright, shall I hit all of them? Ooh. Alright, keep shooting. Very nice. And yeah, she can just keep shooting. Still not sure if that's a bug or what. Because uh, gains extra is equal to the weapon's rate of fire with a minimum of one. Oh! Although the rate of fire on this is three. She gets three additional attacks. That's insane. Yeah, just ludicrous. Like, if we just had a couple of <laughs> these girls in our party, just everyone would be dead. Uh, so yeah, cool. I love it. Big, big fan. I mean, there's no one else in range, is there? Oh, I think they might be out of range. Or they're behind cover. So it would be nice if I could get further forward. I have controlled burst as well. War him. Yeah, I can't get any further forward, can I? Uh, restores momentum equal to the Battle Sisters. Doubled willpower bonus. I mean, I may as well get some more willpower, I suppose, right? So, you know, that'll do. God, such a shame I can't keep shooting. Also, what is this meter up here? I don't actually know what this meter is yet. Veil thickness? Oh, no. Oh, okay, so our psychers are going to be um, making the... Everyone's going to be making the veil thicker, apparently. Huh. When psychers reach deep into the water power their abilities, there's always a chance of the Imperium bleeding into our reality, a factor that is invariably destructive and damaging. Using psychic powers in the battle by both allies and foes shatters the veil between the Materium and Immaterium. Between reality and the nightmarish realms beyond, there are four states of veil thickness, untouched, wounded, bleeding, and broken. Many possible uh, negative effects have been noted through each state. The more veil is shattered, the dire uh, consequences will occur. So why does why does this put it up? It seems to go up by us doing anything, which is a bit weird, but ah oh well. Also, no um, no Overwatch in this game, which I kind of like. It's kind of nice not relying on things like that. Um, when it says you can just make better use of your moves. It's just all about what can you do with your move now. And I do like that. I like that a lot. 
I would also like it if I could get further over here. That would be nice too. So let's see. Can I get another move? Move, move, move. That moves an ally. Voice of command. Get back into the fight. I mean, I could do bring it down on someone, but I'm not sure anyone is in range of anything because we've been killing everybody so quickly, which is kind of crazy. Uh, although... I can have... Oh my god, I can't quite reach them either. Okay, fine. I guess we're just going to shoot someone then. How boring. How dull. How tedious. Can't reach them, huh? Can try and shoot them. Can try and shoot them. Uh, is there any... Overheat plasma in two turns. So once we use that, we can't use it again for a couple turns. So I'll just take a shot and... Yeah, that'll have to be it. That's really quite depressing. Uh, okay, I can increase... Yeah, I can increase stats a bit. So I guess I'll increase their stats. And then I will say, move, 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 which I can't, of course. I can say, move, move to you, though? Yes, I can. Alright, Pascal, let's get you up here. You can stand on that corpse. Perfect. Alright, now... Uh, do, 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 you aren't going to be in range of anything there, are you? No, I was going to move further around. And you aren't in range either, are you? No, I guess that's it then. A boring turn. Shot someone and missed. I feel like our character is the least effective person in our party. Which is <laughs> a bit depressing, really. Ooh, a stun grenade. I seem to have stunned him as well. I hope we can do like a sweep attack and hit them all. Yeah, we are still doing great. He is a great tank. I love just having a, like, become a tank button. Oh, and more guards running out. I mean, I'm not sure what they're really needed. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, that, that did it. That did it alright. Uh, now let's charge this jerk. Oh, do you not get to attack when you charge? Oh, that's a bit sad. Uh, I can shout at him. Uh, nope, that gives us a great chance to knock down our next attack. I can endure again. Or I could do a taunting scream. Or I could do the thing that lets me counterattack. Uh, that guy's probably going to attack me in melee, so we'll be able to attack him back. He won't. And I'm not sure I, any of these guys will either, so actually, I think just enduring is probably the way to go. Which is a bit of a shame. It's just not that exciting, is it? Okay, so he just gained some momentum. And missed Pascal. Nice. Uh, so we do have Super Lightning, as well as Flash of Insight. Um... You know, I just press tab to try and swap characters. <laughs> this is quite similar, you know, sort of tactical, uh, you know, squad-based tactics thing. I've been playing Demon Hunters recently, so it's all a bit, um, yeah, all feels a bit similar, doesn't it? Okay. That's it, I think. All allies gain half the benefits of my depths, um, study enemies and study weakness. Misfortune can peer into the future. Target's dodge reduces by 20 times psi rating. Interesting. Foreboding. Peering into the future of one ally uh, makes able to see possible outcomes or potential dangers. Increases their dodge and parry. Can't quite reach him, which is a bit of a shame. I'll do it on our rogue trader, because they're out of cover. Because, you know, they're useful like that. Uh, so they can probably flank me here. That's okay. The enemy are not doing well. They are not doing well. Uh, oh, that's me. I thought it was, I thought it went to another guard. See to me. All right, I can actually reach something from here, but we do have to be careful. We do have to be careful because you can hit your own guys. It is possible. It is possible to hit your own guys. Not possible to hit the enemy though, apparently. Okay, bring it down on Argenta. Can you reach them? You can't. That's that's a pity. But I can dash. I can dash. And then I can do the thing that gives me dash. Good. Now to be in a better position to shoot again next turn. 
then I will go uh, do, 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 do. voice of command, I guess. On Argenta, so I can. Might as well give it a go. Eh? Uh, ah, good. Now we're going to move around here and we're going to clobber this armored lass with a brutal strike, which is uh, big, big damage. Big, big damage. And big penetration. So armor is not going to help much against uh, armor pen of three. Nice. Study defenses of this guy. Nope, can't apparently. Of you? Of you? How do I... Who do I target with this? Cost two AP. Fine. Try to find wings as a studied enemy. Do we need to like? St I just study defenses. So hang on. What if I wings as a study? Yeah, I don't know. One creature with a medium range, but like, what? What's the? I'm sure I'm just missing it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I've got to be like right next to him. Uh, we also have the manipulator push. Which is quite fun, that we can use one of our uh, mechadendrites uh, to push people, to push them away, so we can create some space. It's kind of kind of a cool ability, that. Alright, we're in a bit of a dilemma here. Rejoice in that in, uh, we're going to shoot our own guys if we're not careful. Alright, shoot on the run. Uh, control burst. We can do burst fire. If any shot on the attack hits an ally, we instead miss everybody, which is pretty nice, actually. So I think we got a pretty high chance of. Um, As the Emperor commands, I pretty high chance of hitting an ally, which is what I think happened there, which is why we suddenly had everybody missed. Let's just try and shoot them. All right, never mind. Well, not as good a turn for her as last time, though. I mean. Was that going to be possible? Yeah, let's move here and we'll shoot this guy. You know, nice and simple. Well, <laughs> I tried. Okay, let's have to bring it down on this guy so he can clobber him. Oh, he survived, so he's probably going to try and run away in a minute. Oh, I could do this. <laughs> nice. Alright. Let's do another buff. Endure, buddy. Endure. Voice of command. Move, move, move. I can't do. And I'm going to use that to get into melee range. So that way if they try and move out of the way, we'll get an attack of opportunity. And I guess that's that. <laughs> I love that it cut away as if it was trying to spare us from the gore. Alright, a couple more guards are incoming. Not really a problem. Uh, and now I can go up here and start clobbering. I love this whole, like, giving our other teammates additional um, turns. I think it just gives us a lot of fun tactical options. So much damage does this do? Same amount of damage. Okay. It's five penetration on this thing. Like, it's really good for crushing armor. Uh, it can do superior vigilance. Though I don't think anyone's going to attack me in melee, are they? Let's be honest. Uh, I could do a forceful strike. So that way, the next time I attack someone, it'll knock them back. I know, it's not really that useful. Oh, do you not? Oh, yeah, you did. I think he might have surrendered. Or did they die? Oh, they, they turned into a pile of blood. They turned into a blood pile. Old Lanny blood pile, they call him. Uh, sniper rifle, it's basic. That might be the same one that we have equipped already. There is an all specs here. Widely used scanning device provides the user better awareness of their surroundings. Grants plus five bonus to awareness test. That's pretty good. Death World Origin Armored Body Glove. Very nice. Yeah, I'll take that too. World Property plus one MP. Uh, what's MP? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, not sure. Can't think. Brain stop. Brain stop doing. Okay. Uh, what's this? And there's a note from the atrium. Sector 2, watch your back. Make sure you're not being followed. Well, they're not getting followed anymore, are they? Anything else is cargo. 
Uh, scrappy auto guns, normal sword. Yeah, that's all cargo. Okay. Is that everything? Nope, oh, haven't picked up stuff from here yet. I'm not sure there's going to be anything impressive over here. But... Okay, what's this? Casing chest plate. Oh. Huh. Actually seems quite good. There's a dodge penalty, though. Interesting. Interesting. Another chainsaw, too. Rice can be cargo. So there's another shrine over here. A lot of pilgrims. Alright, let's have a look. One of the many chapels that looks uh, better tended to than most on Footfall. Footfall's levels are situated between huge supports resembling scaffolding. Seems a new concept for the interior. Design was started before the previous one could be implemented. Oh, some goods over there. Uh, leaf Lurt. Now it is our time, not theirs. Go to their homes. Drag them out of their beds. Carve open their bodies like carcasses at a slaughterhouse. The Imperial Navy Casablanca, as I'm calling it now. Corder von Valantius. Their names mean nothing now. Tomorrow we'll erase them from memory. Go and seize power. As much of it as you can. And the... Well, okay. Uh, I'm... It means weird there's like a million people here all of a sudden. Um, I wonder if I should go back to old What's-His-Face to, to talk to him about this. Some goods over there. Uh, let's use a tech to open it. Good. This is all mine now. I love these plasma conduits. They're really cool. I really want to build something like that. You know, for the tabletop. I reckon I could do a pretty good effect with that. I'm not sure how yet. I'm not sure how yet. But I think it's doable. Okay. More goods over here. Some more rubbish, isn't it? Need no rules or, or leaders. We are not an organization. We're a force of nature. I mean, I'm assuming that ANV is like the anarchic neo vehicle. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I, I can't wait to see what they see what those guys are. I'm very intrigued. Like, is it a chaos cult? Is it a gene stealer cult? Like, what's the? You know, is it just literally the Imperium sucks to be in, so they're having a bit of an uprising um, on account of just having terrible conditions? You know, who can say? Who can say? It's about time. I'm sure lots of people will find out. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at our journal. Persona non grata. Okay. Uh, wait for completion of repairs to the ship, periodic uh, periodically checking on the situation at footfall dock, uh, dock alpha. Oh, I could probably do that. Visit the leads. I mean, we've done that. On the hunt for knowledge. Oh, <laughs> yeah, can't read that. Oh, by the way, I, I uh, was curious uh, where the devs were from. They're, uh, they're in Cyprus. <laughs> So, I'm assuming they're just a developer in Cyprus, and uh, they're not all, like, Cypriots. Because uh, that tends to be the case. I think a lot of studios open up in Cyprus for, like, you know, it, it, I think they have uh, tax benefits or something. I'm not really sure. Um, but I think it's a good place to just open a, open a game studio. So, fair enough. Fair enough. So, I'm not sure what language that is. Uh, the Legion of Footfall, uh, Vladim... Tokara has come with a request about station survival. His people are at risk of starvation, and Vladim's um, current patron, Kalagos Winterscale, is not rushing to his aid. So, leads Tokara, seeking new ally protector. So we do need to provide them with provisions. So we do have to go to the Angry World Janus before we can do that. And then finally, Rot, which I assume is the, um, the, the random uh, people we bumped into. No, nope, it's not. This is about the Anvers. Particularly aggressive gang has set up shop in Footfall. The fact it's called Rot makes me think that they have like some kind of brain rot, um, and it's like a Nurgle thing maybe that's like making them really erratic. Uh, because there was the uh, mention of the uh, refugees coming in, and everyone's saying like, "Oh, they bring disease." Maybe someone did bring disease to this station, and it's affecting people by making them aggressive. Um, showing no fe fear of either the liege or rogue traders, their thuggish behaviour must be stopped. So, interesting. Interesting to see. And we have a companion quest. Uh, Sister Argenta has asked for a personal matter. Uh, oh, so we have to go to the... 
Yeah, we have to go talk to Hieronymus, don't we? I think he's over here, right? There he is. Let's go talk to him. We looted his locker, but we haven't spoken to him yet. Hey, buddy. The man with the face so drawn it appears to be made of nothing but skin and bone fixes his unblinking bird-like eyes on you. The priest's simple black clothes have next to no adornments, and they do nothing to mask his unhealthy gauntness. In a cracked voice, he says, The Emperor protects my daughter. <laughs> do it. Who are you? Uh, the Emperor protects father? Throw him a couple of co coins. A holy man. Here's some alms. Um, that's so patronizing. Or bow your head and say nothing. Maybe he loves alms, though. Who knows? Does he can't he can't get enough alms? Uh, the emperor the emperor protects father, but he protects only those who are pure of heart. Do you think yourself one of them, my daughter? And you must uh, must be the young von Valancius. That name carries weight, and it is a burdensome one, for its reputation suggests that the adorer encumbered it with many a sin. I wonder, will you seek to shed them, or will you carry them onward, picking them along the way like ripe fruit, and savouring their sweet poison? I don't know. I don't know. Um, make sign of the Holy Aquila. I put my faith in the Emperor. Um, uh, yeah, so just do like a bird uh, shadow puppet. Bird shadow puppet hands. Out of respect. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I have persuasion. We succeeded. Okay. This is a weird one, because, uh, is that, is it implied that we did that sincerely? Or I guess it kind of doesn't matter, right? That's kind of for up, like, up to us to decide. Either way, he has to be persuaded, right? Um, but anyway, uh, he gives you a scrutinizing look, uh, look, then his tone softens. Well, then be twice as diligent, for this sector will seize any chance to test your faith. He looks at Argenta, who is standing nearby, and his voice softens slightly. Again, it just keeps softening. Soon, he's just gonna be like, oh, hey guys, hey. So, I brought my guitar, okay? Do you guys want to, like, sit in a circle? What does sit on the floor? It's closer to, I was gonna say Earth, but Space Station. Um, you know, it's closer, closer to the Emperor, you know? Yeah, let's all sit around and sing Kumbaya. Uh, he looks at Argento, who's standing nearby, and his voice softens slightly. Greetings, sister. I congratulate you on your return. Was your pilgrimage fruitful? It was. <laughs> Here is a fruit basket. Uh, it was, Reverend. Let it be known to you that Theodora von Valencius' ship was attacked by servants of, of Arch Enemy. Uh, a malign metaphysical force comprised of psychic energy that exists in an alternate dimension. Uh, I like the Arch Enemy, like they just tag that as meaning chaos. You know, that is their Arch Enemy. Uh, who will pull the heart of any righteous soul, she says, nearly hissing with fury. Oh, sorry. The heart of any righteous soul. And not all of them. Uh, met a fitting end. Some fled, and more than that, their blasphemous words clearly pointed to this attack being a part of a larger design. Reverend Hieronymus, I wish to join the esteemed rogue traders' crew and help protect the Von Valencius' dynasty from the forces of chaos. I therefore ask you to relieve me of my duties as a guardian of the footfall reliquary. reliquary. Uh, Argenta humbly bows her head, and her shoulders are tense. I would second this plea of pleading words beneath me. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, I second this plea. Sister Argenta stood by my side during the assault of the ship, and I could use her assistance going forward. She basically kills everybody for me. Stone hot, stone cold killer, this one. Which is actually just like, that's not unusual for a nun in this situation, so it's, you know. Uh, frankly, I have no need for her. No, absolutely. Second this plea. Please never leave. I think we will be screwed if you do. Aronimus nods in thought. I cannot oppose the will of a righteous heart that wishes to bring its wrath upon the servants of our enemy. Follow the call of your soul, sister. <laughs> Gotta get that soul, sister. The footfall of reliquary will be preserved even without your contribution, as it was in all these years preceding your arrival. He smiles sadly. I know what it is that calls you to follow the road trader, Sister Argenta. You see combat, for it helps you forget how hollow and worthless our lives truly are. <laughs> oh, bye. Uh, it offers the illusion of meaning. Perhaps you'll relinquish this illusion one day, or perhaps you will die before that day comes. Regardless, good luck. Such a just... I mean, of course he's going to be dour. Like, of course, but still. Uh, Aronimus Doloroso. I love that name. It's a great name. 
that before you start on a path towards your new destiny, I have a request to make of you and your companion. Many among my flock are from the poorest, most dispossessed people on Footfall. They brought me troubling news from Footfall's shadow quarters. In the darkest of corners where the Legion's guards do not venture, taint has taken root. Footfall is consumed by sin, but even here, true heresy. Serving the arch enemy is a rarity. The cultists who now dwell in the shadow quarters mark their abodes with, uh, with, uh, with a sun inscribed in blue and gold. Oh, that sounds very Zinchin, doesn't it? Uh, and perform strange rituals in secret. The weak find solace in believing these reports to be rumours, but I well know that evil lurks all around us, and I wish to see retribution. I come across heresy surprisingly often these days. Uh, why don't you go to the leech with this matter? Or we'll verify this rumour, Reverend Doramus. Oh, I don't have time to be dealing with this nonsense. Oh, I don't have time to deal with chaos. I need to go to my angry planet. Uh, no, I'll verify the rumour. With great pleasure. Argenta puts her hand on the stock of her weapon. I almost wish for the rumour to be true. My heart yearns to battle some heretics. Oh, here I go, killing again. This is where I bid you goodbye, sister, noble rogue trader. Is there more you wish to ask me about? Uh, can we move our conversation to a place more befitting uh, people of our rank? Um, why would we? Ah, then we're good. Nah, I'm not good. The Emperor protects my daughter. And hopefully me too. Goodbye. Uh, right, so... Let's go... to the Shadow Quarter. As with workers. I thought his uniform would build it. Whoa! <laughs> that box just materialized out of the warp. Alright, off we go. To the warp. Uh, oh, we just found a Laz pistol. Oh, we didn't just find it, it was, yeah. And an armored body glove. I guess these aren't that great. I'm just gonna pack this cargo. Uh, shadow quarters. Yeah, you can click on the list as well, which is handy. I really like that it's it's like this sort of lens on a stick that highlights the thing for you. It's all just so, like, analog, even though it's a computer screen. Or at least it's supposed to be. It's a computer screen pointing at a map. Like, it's, it's pretty cool. Like a physical map. A paper map. So I love the sort of, um... low-tech, high-tech of it all. It's, uh... It's a good aesthetic. They've done a good job of, like, representing it here. Argenta gestures for your attention... Rogue Trader, I would like to remind you about Reverend Aronimus' request. He asked us to search for a potential cultist den for full shadow quarters. I know. He told us that four seconds ago. I mean, I know that guy got a big box on his back, and that was all very fun. Like, that was a great little side quest. But, like, now we're back on, back on the thing that we came here to do, which was that. We're not here for any other reason. Also, I love the, uh, this text that keeps showing up. That's literally because there's a servo skull following us around, declaring who we are to everybody. Which is hilarious. We have a servo skull just announcing us. It's, uh, it's pretty great. So, uh, remind me. What was that reference the one that was wanted from us? Please tell me in great detail, Argenta. You kook. Uh, you seem weighed down by something. You know Footfall better than me. Do you think, uh, the rumors of heretics are true? There was a time when I would have said it was likely a fabrication. One can say many things about the uh, Caspala Commission and the other shady operators on Footfall, but even those thugs are loyal to the Emperor, and so they mercilessly exterminate outright heretics in their territory. But now, heretics have launched an open attack on a rogue trader's ship. A member of your dynasty, Conrad uh, Voit Voitvir, has turned out to be one of them. And Footfall itself is sinking deeper and deeper into madness. In these times of strife, I'm willing to believe in heretics who openly perform their dark rituals and brazenly mark their dens with sacrilegious symbols. Well, alright then. You seem weighed down by something. Is this all the armor and the guns? What? No! Argenta shakes her hand and rubs her temples tiredly. Apologies, rogue trader. Being here on Footfall is difficult. For me, it's a minor personal weakness, but I'm as ready to fight as ever. It will have no effect on my combat skills. It better not. Because you kill everybody. Um, although saying that, I mean... Uh, uh, what's his name? Arbed. <laughs> it's not Arbed. Uh, Troy? I'm not sure. I can't remember his name. I'm terrible with names. Okay, you guys know this. Anyway. If something is troubling you, tell me. Perhaps I can help? Or I would like to know what this personal weakness is. A member of my crew could have secrets from me. 
Uh, no, we'll go. Like we, I, I like to think that we treat our party with respect, and then have no respect for anyone else. I tend to shoot you a wary look. I suppose I could share it with you, but the tale will be long, and I have to start from the beginning. <laughs> of course you do. I wasn't born in the Coronas. I was sent here to be the guardian of the reliquary on footfall. But my ship became caught in a warp anomaly, and although it lasted only days for those on board, decades thrown by in real space. When at last I arrived on footfall, it felt like I'd been erased from time. No one was waiting for me on the side of the moor. The people who were supposed to greet me, who knew about my imminent arrival, had died. The reliquary uh, that should have been mine to safeguard had been taken under the protection of Reverend Ronimus and his brethren. They were more than up to the task. They had no need of my help. Footfall became my cage. I didn't know who or what, uh, what purpose I had here. The way back to Calixus seemed like another trap. Even if there was, uh, even I were to find a ship headed there, my sector, my order, they too would have lived decades without me by that point. Whenever I'm reminded of those months spent on Footfall, it feels like I'm, I'm falling into a pit. I hope the rumors of cultists turn out to be true. I can't wait to prove with my bolter that 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 the world of the Imperium need me. Remind me. What, what are we doing here? <laughs> oh, we don't have time for talk. Let's keep... Really? Oh, no. Okay, there is more to this. Yeah. Okay, I thought the I thought the thread had just, like, been cut. Um, you know, abruptly. But no. Yes, a sign. Almost important. Showed me the right path. But it's not something I can speak of like this. On the street. In this den of sin. Let's be on our way. To a different den of sin. Uh, all I'll say is that on, uh, on footfall, I met Lady Theodora and joined her, and that was the end of my languishing in this place. Okay, let's keep moving. All right. This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. What did I find? There's logic over here, apparently. Oh, oh, there's something there. So I've got it set. Whoa, oh, <laughs> whoa. Uh, I've got it set to pause when I see a hidden object. I never would have seen it otherwise. Also, I do want to change some equipment around because I need to put this guy's boots on. He needs to have boots. Uh, awareness tests. Who has the best awareness? Uh, do, 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 do. Awareness is there. So 45, 45, 55, 40, 55, 30. All right, you know what? I'm going to have to protect priest. Here, have an all specs. It goes in your ring hand, apparently. They're flickering even in this window because we stopped moving. That's quite funny. Uh, so we have a force of light carapace, but we have... Yeah, we have some armoured... Uh, an armoured body glove, which does put up armour absorption, but it puts deflection down. So uh, deflection is a reduction in damage by that number, and then the percentage one is, is taking place like afterwards. So... Basically, if we get shot for uh, five damage, it'll remove two damage, and then twenty percent of the remaining three. Right. So that's that's how that works. And uh, uh, so absorption, I don't think, can be um, ignored by armor penetration. I think armor penetration only does the armor deflection. I think, but I might be talking absolute crap. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I might equip this. How's it look? Very fancy. We look very fancy. So that just goes underneath um, our, like, static clothes, I think. Oh, hang on. The Our coat is is holding its arms out. Yeah, things have got a bit weird since it paused automatically. Uh, there's also this uh, casing chest plate, which is, like, mad... Mad good. Although, his enforcer carap... Oh, wait. Hang on. His enforcer carapace is probably better, actually. I think. So I guess we won't equip that. How about you? Uh, oh, she's also got Force of Light Carapace. I give her the heavy one. I'll give her that. That didn't seem to actually change much. Uh, so we have a chainsword as well. Can she equip a chainsword? No, the bolt is two handed. So it's only. Oh. Oh my god, she has a flamer as well. I had no idea we had alternate. He's got a melter gun. Oh my god. Well, this is a game changer. That's sick. Love that. Uh, even she's got a couple of pistols. Auto pistol and las pistol. And you've only got the one set of arms, but of course you have additional 
and mechadendrites that I assume will have a bunch of utility. But, oh, that's amazing. Well, now I don't know who to give the chainsword to. Let's have a look. Uh, chainsword, way worse penetration, but a lot more damage. I think the penetration is probably better for the Paramal. Gives a slight range of, uh, of things to equip. So I think we're all good, actually. I think we got everything we wanted. Oh, should we check the sniper rifle? Uh, so that's sniper rifle, sniper, same thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, let's unpause it. How do I unpause it? Spacebar pauses it. Whoops. Uh, rising sun symbol. Seems oddly repulsive, even sinister. Oh, oh god, yeah it is. Yeah, that's very Tsinchian. Okay, so that's what we saw. This is also really cool. Uh, it wasn't time to destroy these tiles, so definitely pried out purpose and diligence. Interesting. There's another one. Over there. Yeah, I noticed. Leaflet. Now it is out. Now is our time, not theirs. Yeah, same, same luck we've read a few times before. And yeah, no, okay, you know what? This is pointing us to where we need to go, isn't it? us the way. There's another one. I'll make claim to the stars. This is cool. I really like this. Really cool way to like point you to a cult. Although it's surprising they keep pointing different directions. That implies that there's like a lot of different routes to take. Yep. Another one over there. Over here is it? Oh, yeah. A new challenge for we should deal with this. Yeah, I know we found it. I might have to turn the pause off. <laughs> uh, it's over there, is it? Because, yeah, it's just going straight down the street, right? Yeah. Okay, it's pointing in a couple directions. Looks like it's pointing to that door. Yep. Oh, this is cool. So it's F5 to quick save, by the way. This is really cool. This is like some great intrigue. Okay. So can we not open it? I won't tolerate weakness. I won't open the door. That's a fake door. So presumably. Need to open it somehow? Not sure how. Uh, wastewater unsafe for drinking but, uh, after purification, now being used for laundering. Uh, a servitor over there? Can we use that? Anyway, behind closed doors, you hear uh, the humming of primitive washing machines and laundry songs. Uh, Alright, primitive tools and such. I quite like this as well. It's a quite interesting piece. Hmm. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm look. I'm I'm enjoying the terrain. <laughs> okay, I want to I want to start building a bunch of terrain soon. I've got some uh, some crafty bits arriving, so I want to start making some terrain like this for uh, for my gene stealer cults. Uh, we need no rules or leaders. We are not an organization. We are a force of nature. And yeah. Exterminator. Oh. Pretty careful of him. Uh, this is yet another. Oh, this one I can actually go through. Unknown key. What? Okay. Well, I guess we're going through here. Oh, so the other door was just a fake door. But this is the real door. Is that it? Uh, stop declaring who I am while I'm trying to sneak into a secret base. That servo skull, guys. That ruddy servo skull. I kind of love it though, it's pretty funny. Okay. We are in a lair. We're in a dungeon. There's some goods. It's a goody dungeon. Oh, goods there too. Hello, goods. Some cyber cryptos and broken cargo tools. So, places cargo. Uh, alright. Yeah, let's, uh. Do you see that? I certainly do. Oh, I like this. This is what they did in, um,. Uh, Pathfinder uh, 2. It's not Pathfinder 2, the second one they made. 
Uh, Wrath of the Righteous? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Uh, this is what they did in Wrath of the Righteous, where they had traps, but you didn't just, like, click on a trap to do it. You you would find the, you know, the trigger for it elsewhere, which is really nice. Well, you failed, but no one died, so, you know, at least someone saw it. Okay. Oh no. Hang on, who is the best at disarming traps? I've been assuming it's the tech priest. Uh, demolition, I guess, would be good for that, <laughs> right? Let's check the log. Hang on, where is the log? Cargo management, there's a the log. Uh, awareness check, skull fells. Oh yeah, it's a de oh, so it is demolition. Okay. So, um,. So let's have a look. So demolition, 30, 20, 45, 45, 35, 45. Okay. I guess I'll have them do it anyway, because it feels appropriate for them to do so. Please don't explode. Oh, that was a door. Okay, cool. Oh dear, this doesn't seem right. Open the doors for us, guide our way, twist our way, we beseech thee, our lord. The edge of daybreak, the edge of daybreak. Kalima, Kalima. Oh my god, that's a pink horror. Oh dear. <laughs> Brilliant. That is so satisfying. And of course she gets to go first. Oh, I love that. Okay, uh, shot on the run. Now let's like just gun these guys the hell down, yeah? Do I go straight for the I think I probably do, yes. Oh, yep, okay. We killed it, but now it's two blue horrors. Because of course it is. Lucky we were here, you know? Lucky we were here. Can you imagine if we weren't here? Nice. And uh I mean I can second win so I can get a dash. So, might as well. Uh, might as well, so I can get behind cover. Oh, it goes the whole distance regardless. Okay, my bad. Well, do you stand there then? That's great. It means you can shoot through this line next time. We will be using all of our leadership powers to give her additional attacks, of course. Like, uh, bring it down. Yeah, let's do that. Let's tell her to bring it down. Oh, I can't yet. I need to move. Uh, if I move there, will I be able to reach it? Uh, probably not. I'll just move here, I suppose. That works. Bring it down. Nice. Uh, then we can do a shot on the run again. So now she can shoot twice. Or can she? She probably won't have enough. That will gain an action point and dash, but the action point means we can shoot again. So let's shoot... That was a cultist sorcerer, that one. Interesting. You know what? In that case, let's do that and we can do the auto shot instead. Marvellous. Alright. Excellent. She's just slaughtering them all. You know what I should have done? Should have swapped. Should have swapped to this weapon. Should have gone to the flamer. Should have gone to the flamer. Because, yeah, it shoots everybody. That would have been wild. It's alright. Okay, let's start shooting with you as well. Well, you're the one that's here, so... Ooh. Okay, there's one miss. I love that when you get shot, people do actually try and run out of the way. Ow. It's fine. Okay, let's... Um, I'm going to move to here. I'm going to use my chainsword on this jerk. That's right, I want to actually be useful for us. So, chainsword, go! Uh, do, 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 strike? Or slash? Strike, obviously. Nice, you got a righteous fury. And now, let's just bring it down on her again. Incredible. Uh, she could use military excellence so she gets three more uh, shots. Which would be pretty fun. Uh, I could do a controlled burst, though I don't think that really matters. Nah, I'll do the same as this anyway. Okay. Power resides in the 
She's gained all of the momentum from this battle so far, so, you know, might as well. Oh, can I not use that now? Is that a cooldown? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, could use controlled burst, though. Alright, demons are dead. Nailed it. Uh, Alright, let's kill him now. Ah, uh, there's only three left. Cool. I can, I can keep going. Yep, Righteous Fury. She has so much fury right now. So righteous. <laughs> That's why I'm flying. Ah, oh, so good. Alright, we can technically try and hit both. But pretty low odds. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Oh my god. My cultist leader fell down. Oh, we did maybe hit our boss. Apparently that's fine. She just slaughtered everyone. I feel like it was her job to slaughter everyone though. I'm glad we gave her the um, the rampage. Argento rushes to the last living cultist and silently, furiously punches him in the face. Blaspheming heretic. Who are you praying to? I know those words. Uh, that call to a law. Argent doesn't get to finish. The cultist, having dropped to his knees, interrupts her with great and grasping laughter. Of course you know them. I recognize you too, lackey to the corpse on the throne. Haven't you already experienced the power of the true god? Did you flee from us, shedding tears? Argent recalls as if from a blow, and then stop, uh, steps forward, grabs the cultist by the scruff of the neck, and makes him look into her eyes, burning like embers. I am one of the Adeptus Auroritas, and I have never, not once in my life, fled from heretics and betrayers of humankind. Can't you see he's trying to get under your skin? Adira mutters. I bet he wants a quick bullet to the head instead of a bonfire. Despite her tone, she's looking around anxiously and rubbing her temples. Smells of a dark future, like a noose around the neck. Argento, wait. The heretic must be interrogated. What do you want to know, servants of the corpse emperor? The names of, of my brethren? How many of us there are? Where we are? I will tell you myself. We are myriad. We are everywhere. Soon, very soon, you will hear our voices. And when you hear them with your back so close you could feel our breath, then you will know the power of a true god. Just how many of you vermin are there? Sorry. Just how many vermin of you, uh, how many of you vermin are there? First Rykad Minoris, now here. Pascal pulls a number of instruments out of his robe. You would bet your life that uh, the purpose of these items isn't to disassemble machines. He says casually, Should you encounter difficulties during the information extraction process, I would recommend precise targeting of ganglia. Oh, God. Ooh. That, uh, that made my ganglia shrink, I'll tell you that much. Uh, the cultist chuckles arrogantly but pales and looks away from Pascal's calm gaze. How do you know Argenta? Have you seen her on Footfall before? What's this true god you keep mentioning? You will know in time. The cultist gives you a wicked smile, painted with the fresh blood on his lips. Have you seen Argenta before? Not on Footfall. The cultist laughs hoarsely. In another place, she flew right in like a bird into a snare. Argenta is staring at the cultist, her eyes wide, as if against her will she whispers two words. Salus Prime. Argenta, oh, what's he on about? She snaps out of it as if emerging from a reverie. A planet, a place, it doesn't matter. I know these heretics. I fought them and was gravely wounded, but I swear. I never turned from them and ran. She turns to the cultist, her gaze filled with cold fury. If you truly have seen me on Salus Prime, someone among you must know a way to get there. Do you have your own ship and navigator? Answer me. Ships and maps, roads and doors, we have them all, but our paths are not for you. The true god spins his web, and you are but a fly caught in it. But where is the spider? The god's eyes fill with madness. He's something more coherent. Road trader, we won't get anything from this madman. As for my part in the story, I will tell it, but not here, not in his presence. Alright. Kill him. Do it. You can kill me, servants of the corpse emperor, but you can't stop the victory of the true god. The edge of daybreak is nigh, and the hour of his triumph approaches. Silence hangs for a minute, then Argenta turns to you and shrugs nonchalantly, then shoots his head off. That's it. We've fulfilled Reverend Deronimus' request, which means I'm now free. I continue my travels with you, Rogue Trader. You know, I figured that the cult would have something to do with the um, 
the the um, our, our Anvers? Yeah, the Anvers. Um, though maybe it's a different Chaos Cult There's the Anvers, or maybe it is literally just, um, you know, humans being humans. Uh, so I'm not sure. Not sure. Before we leave this den, let us round up what remains uh, of the Blasphemous. I'd like to cleanse this place with purifying flame. Perhaps we can find a clue that might tell us where these heretics came from, or if they have any more associates. Argenta lowers her head warily. We need to talk, but it can wait. Let's meet on the ship when it's time to depart Footfall. Well, alright then. Uh, let's see what fun toys they have. Uh, wow, okay, there's a lot of Enforcer Carapace. Uh, plasma Pistol. Bunch of swords. Uh, I don't really need any of this. Although, Plasma Pistol's got great armor penetrations. So I might give that to... Um, God, who, who is it? Is it... Cassia? Who's got a couple of pistols, I think? Anyway, everything else can be cargo. Uh, so that was absolutely nuts. Love that. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot, a lot of fun. Okay, let's use tech to get in here. Oh, you know what? I'm actually... Uh, we're at the end of the episode. <laughs> we are really at, definitely at the end of the episode. I'm uh, almost 15 minutes over. I just get really carried away in this game, it seems. I kind of love that. But I try and go for 45-minute episodes, and I failed. So, um... Anyway, uh, we found this uh, pack of regents, so I'll just say what this is first. This set of chemical regents increases damage of all burning, poison, bleeding effects after applied to the wearer. I mean, that seems fine, I guess. And then we have a melter charge used for, yeah, eliminating obstacles. Everything else is cargo, and that's where we're going to end it. So we've uncovered a cult, killed it, smited it to bits, and uh, yeah, just still, still a lot of questions to answer. So it should be fun, trying to unweave the many threads that are... Uh, pulling at this space station or something. I don't know. Conspiracy and such. Uh, guys, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.